What I'm holding in my hand is the new Marshall Hero magazine, which contains what is so called head change photo. This issue of the magazine featured the headlined article published in memory of late Grandmaster Yip Man, who had then just passed away. In this article, there was a photo showing Grandmaster Yip with the chief editor of the magazine, which looked exactly identical to that taken on Si Fu Leong. Despite that Si Fu Leong was a famous Wing Chun master at that time, there was not even one photo or even one word mentioned about him in this article. In fact, during the latter life of Grandmaster Yip Man, the magazine New Martial Hero had conducted two interviews of Grandmaster Yip. Both were arranged by Si Fu Leong himself. It just seems strange why Chief Edgar did not use his photo in either of the interview reports, but did so only after the Grandmaster passed away. What is more, during the period between the late 60s and the early 70s, prior to the death of Grandmaster Yip, Si Fu Leung had appeared in public with him in a number of big functions. The Grandmaster even handed over the Wing Chun class as he starred Si Fu Leung. Naturally, Si Fu Leung had a large number of photos taken with the Grandmaster together. Then what was the point for him to fabricate another photo? All these queries, I will leave for the readers to find out for themselves in the live interview to follow. Hello. 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 Is it Marcus? Is it? Yeah. Marcus, my name is、uh, Ben Lee. I'm actually with Master Chu at the moment. I am going to interpret for Mr. Chu. Yes.、Yeah. Okay.、Uh, in that case, would you like to ask your questions? Okay. Okay. I start. Right. Thank you. Okay.、Um, dear Master Chu. During the last years, the rumor was spread on the internet that、right. a photo which shows、uh, President Martin Luther King standing next to a teacher, the late President Martin Luther King, should have been manipulated. Right. Okay, Marcus. Let me put this question to Master Chu.、Uh, Master Chu, the reporter said that he had recently seen a lot of rumor on the internet about a certain photo in which Grandmaster Leung Ting posed himself with Grandmaster Yip Man was fabricated. That is a fake. Si Fu Leung Ting and Grandmaster Yip Man had a very intimate relationship. They got together very often and had a lot of photos taken together. It's hard to believe that someone should go to the fuss of fabricating any such photo. But by the way, I'm not too sure which photo he was referring to. That photo was taken in the background that looked like a gymnasium. Si Fu Leung standing beside Grandmaster Yip. The reporter has said that he had heard that you were the person that took that shot, and he wished to know under what circumstances it was taken. Well, I can recall that one time a colleague of mine, Mr. Mok Pui On, had a special interview with Grandmaster Yip Man for a magazine issue, and after the interview, he took several photos of the Grandmaster. Unfortunately, when he tried to develop the negatives in the dark room, they were overexposed and all the photos were damaged. He had intended to go back to Grandmaster Yip to redo the shots. However, the Grandmaster is a man not fond of taking photos, considering them troublesome, and so Mok Pui On was afraid that he would not be pleased for doing the same thing twice. Now, the problem is we had already advertised the appearance of the article to the readers. The Grandmaster was very famous at the time, and most of the Kung Fu fans wanted to know more about him, and so it was vital to have an article about him for that issue. Eventually, our chief editor, Mr. Leung Mok Suk, came up with a way. We arranged for a different reporter, Mr. Lo Wing Kung, to conduct a separate interview with Grandmaster Yip, so that we could take some replacement photos. Lo, at the time, was the writer of a special column in our magazine called the New Martial Hero. However, Lo was not a photographer, so I was asked to do the photography. Master Chu, sorry for interrupting. 
The reporter specifically wants to know under what circumstances and when that photo was taken. The photo was taken during the early days for an issue of New Martial Hero. This was also a photo taken for that issue on a slide, not by me, but by Mok Puyon. Mok used to take all his photos on slides, which have to be developed in a professional photo lab, rarely getting overexposed. These were two other photos which I took afterwards to replace those of the first lot which Mok had damaged. All the black and white photos were taken and developed by ourselves. So this looked like one of the front covers? Yes, this was the issue where we had Sifu Leung Ting as the cover. These are some of the other replacement photos I took. This was Lo Wing Kung himself, also known as Hercules, who interviewed Grandmaster Yip the second time. I took all the photos during Lo's interview as well as the replacement photos for the first interview conducted by Mok Pui On as the original photos were damaged. Hey, Marcus, well, there, there is a long story behind this. Uh, Master Chu said that he at that time was a, a photographer working for a magazine. Which is not showing the grandmother in turn, but the person could not be uh, Master Chu, the reporter said that he had seen another photo, which he heard was published in the New Marshall Hero in 1972. In that particular photo, Grandmaster Yip Man was seen posing with another person known as Yip Man, with background very identical to that photo showing Grandmaster Yip and Sifu Leung. The reporter wished to know whether you know of this man. Grandmaster Yip passed away in 1972, and New Marshall Hero published a collection of his photos in a special memorial article. And I know of no this photo article.